Oke, okay, we are going to solve practice problem 5.2 from Sadiku book and the question is find the closed loop gain between v0 and vs so v0 over vs and then determine the current i i is here when vs is 2 volt and we are work with ideal of m and for ideal of m we will have this hint here so va will equal to vb in ideal of m and then ia and i0 will equal to 0 and this op m is not kcl node so ia plus ib is not ic and the last hint is we need to use nodal analysis when we have op m in the circuit so let's do nodal analysis in the circuit okay first let's see this node here this node is the ground and it will be fed into the op m <coughs> so ground means the voltage here is zero as our reference so that means here in another terminal of op amps the voltage will be the same so let's name this node is a and that will make va is the same as this node which is zero volt Okay, now because we need to do nodal analysis, let's do KCL at node A. <coughs> First, I will assume the current. They are going here and here going into the op amp, and the last one is going out to the op amp. And if we take notice here, this the current here will go into the op amp that means the current here that this current will equal to zero because of this property of ideal op amp okay having said that so we will have kcl at node a first we need to use this current so kcl said the sum of the current that goes in is equal to the sum of the current that goes out Okay, that's funny sigma okay let's just rewrite that okay i will have vs minus va here va divided by 10 and plus not plus there there are there is no other current that goes in okay only this current that goes in so that will be equal sign and the current that goes out this current is goes out but that current is zero so i will have zero there plus this current here which is va minus here the voltage here is v0 v0 so v0 from the ground so i will have v0 here divided by 20 Okay, we have to remember that VA is equal to zero, so let's plug that in. So I will have VS minus zero, then, and then zero we don't need to write it anymore. And then here we will have VA, which is zero, and then minus V output divided by 20. Okay. So now we can solve this to V0 over Vs. Let's do that. So I will have minus V0 divided by Vs is equal to 20 divided by 10. Or I will rearrange this as V0 divided by Vs is minus 2. So this is the first answer. This is the answer of the first question. So this one. And then the second one is determine the current I when Vs is 2 volt. Okay. So when Vs is 2 volt,
we will have v0 is equal to minus 2 multiplied by 2 which is minus 4 volt so when vs is 2 volt v0 is minus 4 volt and then let's do some analysis to get i so we'll have i i is the current that pass through this resistor then we can calculate it by using va minus v zero divided by 20 okay va is zero and then v zero is minus four so i will have that as minus four and we divide it by 20. so i will have four divided by 20 and the unit is milliampere so i think i can rewrite that as what is it 4 divided by 20 okay i will have 0 0.2 multiplied by 1000 is 200 microampere So this is the answer of this question. So we'll have I is equal to 200 micro ampere. Okay, that's all. We answer this question. And hopefully I did not make any mistakes in the calculation. Let me know if I did in the comments. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and see you.